what is good you guys it's your boy gold sharpie back at it again with another fau dynasty video college football 25 hope you guys are having a fantastic day last dynasty video we took on the fcs pandas got the job done today we're going to be taking on north texas big game as we are opening up american conference play a lot at stake to get off on a good note in our american schedule this season first things first we're going to take a look and see what happened around the country so Ohio State remains at one Michigan is two Oregon three Georgia moves up to four they beat Alabama 53 to 29 in Tuscaloosa Missouri five Penn State six LSU seven Oklahoma eight Ole Miss nine and Florida is ten so Alabama fell eight spots Clemson fell to Stanford and they dropped 12 spots and then USC lost to Wisconsin and Kansas State lost to Oklahoma State so Heisman Watch, Jalen Daniels is at one, Jalen Miller at two, Chris Jones somehow at three, Taysen, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, it's called Taysen P, UMass, and then Jackson Dart of Ole Miss. Players of the week, offensively, JP Richardson of TCU and Shea Suano, probably botched that name, my bad bro, Wyoming, defensive player of the week. Unfortunate news, Terrell Cleveland committed to Miami. So did David in Donaghy, part of the Canes class as well. So we're going to go ahead and remove them from our board. So we'll focus. Oh, and then Sean Sin, Appalachian State, and then Keegan Flanagan, Appalachian State as well. Let's focus on these guys for one. Now that we have some hours back to get these guys on campus. So we'll do proximity to home since that's an A. Just tough when you don't have a lot of hours, y'all. Just gonna have to grind it out, man. That's why wins are gonna be important to get better prestige and get more points. Proximity to home is gonna be a big one for us. So we gotta take advantage of that. But we're just gonna focus on these guys for now. Hopefully lock up some commitments and then we could add some other players to the board and gain some more commitments. But top class is update. Miami is the top class all by LSU so far. All right, so this was actually a bye week. Forgot about that. And we're gonna update our coaching skills. Keep adding to recruiting. And then let's sim this week. First things first quick look at the top 25 let's just see if anything changed so lsu moved up two spots so they're five oklahoma state is six old miss seven florida eight utah nine and kansas 10 missouri lost to texas a&m so they dropped to 11 penn state lost as well they lost 28 25 to ucla fell to 17 wisconsin loss alabama lost again wow to vanderbilt that's a terrible loss iowa state and nc state fell as well so players of the week noah thomas Texas A&M, and Deion Hill of Miami. Heisman, Chris Jones is out. So Jalen Daniels, Dylan Gabriel shot up a lot. He's second now. Byron Drones, VTech. We got Taysom P. And then Ketron Jackson, or Katron, Tron Ketron? Jackson Jr., Baylor. So here's North Texas. So you got Chandler Morris, talented quarterback, 87 overall. Pull down, slide of hand, and extender. Has physical abilities. I believe he's a transfer. I want to say SMU. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I know he did not start out at North Texas. His name sounds familiar. His team looks pretty good. Should be a decent, decent battle. Probably second best team we've faced so far behind Michigan State. This will be a good test for us. Again, this is an American opponent. Same conference. It's an important game. Finally, we got some recruiting hours as well. So let's see. So we got two four stars left on the board. Let's um let's go to the prospect list. Add some of these guys. These are all open. Just some more targets to go after. Let's go to the state of Florida. Much better chance of getting some attention from Florida prospects. So let's see. 
right now he's got offers from Clemson. We want to we also want guys who don't have offers. Like this guy, Ernest Wade, Nathan Massey, George Magana. Gotta stick with your state, man. Gotta go with your roots. The top players in the country, but I'm not gonna put points on a lot of these guys yet. I'm gonna keep them in mind for the future. So let's go back to the board. A lot of these guys, man, we, we, we're gonna lock up. You can see we're far and away ahead of the, a lot of the other teams that we're competing against. So let's just start throwing some scholarships on some of these other players. Now that we have some points, we could also schedule some visits as well. But I don't think we need to because we're so far ahead. I think we'll lock them up anyway. We use a lot of these points just to get some scholarships. Let these guys know, hey, we got spots for you. If you want to stay home and play for the Isles, man, we want you. All Florida boys too. Keep the family close. Feeling good about recruiting. You know, we're battling Miami for some of these four stars, so that's good to see. Even though we're not getting all of them. We want to compete on the trail. Without further ado, y'all, let's play North Texas. Spectacular ocean views not far away from the home of the Florida Atlantic Owls. FAU let's get it, y'all. Big they opportunity today to get to 5-1 and one on the season. Be a great start to the dynasty. Pump for this one, y'all. Lock in. Let's get it. Fresh and ready to go off of my week, the North Texas Mean Green. Taking on the winners of four straight, the Florida Atlantic Owls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis. Join you can kick off and we'll get this game rolling. Good kick. He'll bring it out. It's Sheffield. Oh, yeah. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second guessing that return. So, North Texas offense will have the first possession of the first down. You know, they like to throw the ball a lot. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. It's complete on the right side. And they wrap him up, but not before he's got enough Ooh, for the first They're doing down. a little hurry up, okay. In the hurry up. A little no huddle nice action. Job by the running back catching the football and understanding where the first got down a weird stance. was. I gotta go get that first down. Pick that. A nice oh. Tom with a near pick on your opening drive. The give out of the gun. Back hey, off. Stop after a gain of three to the 31. Now facing a third and long. To the air, it's Morris. Oh, got his man guys, quick. come on. Trip that. Major gaps in that defense, and he this got is loose crazy, and bro. Knock him down at the 41. You go no Man, huddle. This offense is so dangerous. Every play. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that. Now the there. defense is really on its heels. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Get him. Great defense. Job, y'all. Third and 12. Too deep. Oh, really? What? Yes, sir. Big stop. Big stop. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. So Florida Atlantic's offense will go to work for the first time. As we take this play, if they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well. If established, they obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Trying to get to it. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. He'll Good run. Good himself. run. To describe calm, cool, collective, accurate, and so on and so on. But a lot of times it's just smart. Understanding the situation. Now a lot of options on second and four. They'll give it to Johnson. Nice move. move Good juke. And keep this keep hit a big play here. Off play action on first down. Steps away to find some room. Got out of trouble. Oh, yeah. No, don't go out of bounds. Perimeter. And now he's just using his God-given ability and his arm talent to make big-time throws. They'll wrestle six. We better get this. 
They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. Third down. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. Go, 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 go. No. Get the ball. Yes. Let's hold on just a minute here. Booth review. Are going to have a second look. We got the ball back. Okay. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay set on first and ten. Easy. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Smack and pass. Make him out of the run game. You got to do a lot of this. They'll run play action. Wow. And Good job, offensive line. Athletic, and that are so strong, and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action attempt. Come on, make a play. Make a play. Make a play. Oh. Oh, All that for nothing. Get it done early in this one. Get there. Get there. Get there. And the punt team kick it Texas into the end zone. The mean like, green offense what? will return to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lather. Can't get around him. Get oh my gosh. Forward. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this up. The pursuit. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest game. Line is set on third down. Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's, Let's get up the this field. Third down play to open the quarter. Here's the handoff. Pitch oh. up the first down, still moving. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. North Texas in the hurry up. The give on the inside. Rumbles ahead for six and all the way out to the 16. Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. From the shotgun, the hand. There, sit down. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. Come on, guys. Oh, and he gets it back, so you can file that one under. Could have been worse. Third down is where the money is made, but they're lucky to be here after that ball was loose. Great defense. North Texas will have to punt it away. On the return, it's Tucker. They make this after a punt on their last possession. They are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this like is a brand new the opportunity start. to go. A lot of options on second and four. Here we go. Gonna run it. It's Mobley. Stop is made. At the it's out wide and make big plays. Sometimes it's not about making big plays. Sometimes it's about getting that first down to make sure I get an extra set of downs. They go to the ground. Run. Let's go. To the house. To the house. Run, Johnson. But a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And have offense set up now on first and goal. A first down run in the red zone. He's dropping. He's got this type of score here. Playing the tight end position. That could work the middle of the field for him. Touchdown. Good pitch. Pitch. That's what we needed, baby. Let's get on the board. Really nice job Mr. Tucker, all right, stop with all that. Stop with all that, brother. Good catch, though. to kick it off and he ought to be able to knock this one anywhere he wants after that extra 15 yards first down use the play fake now to throw good sack and let's go will get home and the quarterback goes down at the 17. the defense just simply not fooled by the play action oftentimes the offense you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers but man oh man they had their ears pinned back Playbook here on second and long from the 17. 
Really nice oh, stop for Let's see if we can get him out to the perimeter. Power football with the run. And the defense is way. I love how this, it just speeds up when they know they're going to take all the clock off. I love that. Well, get up. Not able to pop the big return to the field. David, they love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was. Here we go. Hold on to the. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. Can't quite make the square. Bad throw. This guy could catch it, or nobody could catch it. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. He there he is. Got him. Catch. Oh, like what are we doing? FAU will send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the returner will be fenced back onto the field. So late in the That's half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be concerned. We're, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, trying defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, running back gets to give. Runs for the tackle. And the tackle. Gonna let the clock go. We're gonna get ball second half, I believe. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's Take a 7-0 halftime lead. It's the strange game. Not going to risk a refense. It's done its job. They have the lead and they'll secure it as we head to halftime. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, looks like we've got a great atmosphere today in Boca Raton. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Howard Schnellenberger Field. Kicking off to start things here in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease. The Owls offense will go back to work. They'll open this third quarter with a run. Go Johnson. Go Johnson. Good block. Good block. And more. And they Love it. get him out of bounds, but not before a sizable pickup on that one. Yeah, I tell you what. Can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. The give to the back. He's knocked down on that last play. Here's second and 12. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Let's it fly. And he's there we go. Great 25. catch. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Unloads to the wide out. Oh, yeah. All kinds oh, of yeah. To throw that one in there. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. Touchdown. To Touchdown. And he's going to take it to the house. Let's get it. Front created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, and um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Great scoring drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined training offense will Keep it return up. to the field. No this plays off. Pressure can ramp up a little bit on an offense, David, when they start feeling the heat oh, to answer a score. I think being fast. down 14, you can kind of feel that way. But, dude, if you put a good drive together, this is a seven point game. So, Palmer, no need to panic. I was just going to say, David, I mean, this thing can flip quick. You go down, score, all of a sudden your defense gets a stop, or who knows, better yet, gets a turnover. This game is a catch. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. He leaves it with his back. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes 
You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. He's close to the first down, and they're going to mark him just a little short. North Texas in the hurry up. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Looking to throw, it's Morris. Finds his big tight end. I was thinking and dunking. Really good concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down, setting up an easier second down. Understanding, I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, oh my game. gosh, dude. How did he not pick that off? In the gun, looking to throw on third down. Fires to the tight end. Moving deeper into enemy territory. Move the chains. It's first down at the 27. They get the conversion there. He used his size and nice moves to get past the chain. Yeah, I like that. Third and short. Find the big fellow, the soft hands. Make a quick little move. Make the completion. Get the first down. Here's an opportunity for this offense in search of its first touchdown. It's first and 10. Now from inside the red zone. Not able to hook up the dial up. It's 10th play of this drive. This one's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. This conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll snap it from the gun on third down. He caught it. Works his way to the new center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. You saw the tight end on a big play there in that last third down. Why not go back to him again here in the red zone with his size and his athletic? Falls incomplete, and he did everything perfectly except catch the football. Second down coming from the gun. The running back tries to hit the oh, hole, gosh. and he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, That's crazy. Sometimes we ask coach to kick it away after wow. scoring the touchdown. And I believe they went for two. And I actually super sent that because I thought they were just going to kick it unbelievable. So my bad for that. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. That's the difficulty being a I think I'm going to switch like up some of the playbooks too after this. I really want to create my own, but we'll see. It's going to take me a little while. Their way forward on third and short from the 29. Looking downfield, it's Fancher. Got him. Good catch. Good catch. Play from the pistol. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead. And the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist. And he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? On second down, wants to throw. Ooh, we got lucky. Of the field. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings. North Texas. Now, man, you're playing on the road. We got it's lucky there, guys. It's late in the game. Someone's got to step up and make a play. Nice job there, knocking that one down. What the, the heck the was that? Oh my gosh. Falls to the ground, incomplete. FAU will send out the punt team. Perhaps feeling that come to the field. They took it down the field for a touchdown the last time they had it, and now an opportunity to take the lead in this football game. So they got to be feeling good. They did their part, score your defense, does your part, Jesse. This offense, keep that momentum. I would say stay aggressive here. And just keep doing what you were doing on that last drive, right? Well, whatever was working for you, just go back. Keep using those same playmakers to allow you to go down here and score a touchdown. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. To the air. It's Morris. Bought a little time. Let's the heck was that? The Let's get off the field. Some heat on third and long from the For once. Off play action. 
Got away from trouble and got rid of it. No way, dude. Now. now they're starting to feel it. They've got a How does that happen? How do y'all let that happen? That wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive it's inexcusable. For this they needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. North Texas in the hurry up. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come open. They pick up the first down on the drag route. I know that seems like a simple route, but it's actually a lot more complex than what it looks like. This dude. That route changes based on whether it's man or zone. If it's man coverage, he's flying across the field. If it's zone, he's got to sit down over the ball in a soft spot, giving his quarterback a place to go with it. Nice job of those guys being on the same page there. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. He's looking to throw it. And the physical. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him. To... No way. Score. Touchdown, North Texas. A methodical drive that they finish off by tossing it to the tight end. Wow. And the tight end, I tell you what, this is a position that's evolved so much, right? And you see him move all over the field. It's kind of like, where is Waldo? You got to find this big fella, especially down in the red zone area. This is the guy they're going to target. They make Dude's just play. throwing it up, praying someone catches it. It's a joke. To kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. it'll be it back as the owls offense will go back to work they just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive jesse they had to punt it i think they got to be more physical press the wrong button you're the more physical team if so used to we used to x being the uh where the square button on is on the down, xbox try to make the connection he got his hands on great play you still get a pass break up but man that could have been an interception by the defender there nice break on the run baby run baby run baby oh no oh he my god with a huge fumble recovery and he's brought down and this defense gets the ball back for its own and when you're on defense and it's wet and it's rainy you know exactly what time it is that ball gets a little heavier it gets a little slicker you're trying to get to that thing you know you get your hand on it there's a good chance it's coming out nice job by the defense forcing it with the assist from the weather down, down yo dude i can't believe we're about to lose this game smart move to keep it on the ground fighting off the defender they get him two minute warning, a one possession game as this offense tries to hold on. They'll run it from the gun. That's what you expect. You're in that one to two minute range and you've got the football and you got a lead. It's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down, what they do next, but we got to keep that clock moving. Defense. Great defense. Let's go. In a huge Not out of it yet. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. They All right, a minute and 12 seconds. Still in it somehow. But we got to Let's see go what fast. he can do with the return. Not a lot of space. The U offense will return to the field. There's plenty of time to work with here, but they have to be highly efficient in their attack, Jesse. So it comes to no doubt. Use the sidelines. They're your friend. I don't have to take deep shots. Throw beyond the first down marker so I can stop that clock for a little bit. Catch. Get out of bounds. That was a great like try, though. Play right there. He's not Love the effort. In a bad spot. And that's why they still have a shot to walk out of here with a W. Look at this. That pass is in quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Getting some heat. Oh, what? What are we doing? Offense. When you're trailing late in the game, you've got to throw to get back in. The defense already knows it anyway. On top of that, you've got this weather. Got that him. You have to do. Got him. It's Let's go. Hey, hey, catch. Well, they just drained all the suspense out of the fourth down conversion, moving the chains easily. The clock is still running, and they have to get everything.
cannot believe we got that. To the air, it's Fancher. We got him. Got him. <gasps> How about that? Sure and knocking balls away. Now on second down. Trying play action. Throws to the wide out. Out of bounds. Complete to the right. And they've got a chance to win the game. The Owls come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Now moving to his right, looking for anyone that's Ooh. open. Oh. The lead. They'll Get in there. On Get in there. Goal. Yes, sir. We're not out of it, baby. Never quit attitude. Let's go. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, what a game. And the clutch late score would be a huge win. Will be the game but we've seen crazy things happen all the time. He'll start the return inside his spot. Sit down. George is about to fall. That would be a big field. upset. Now in the waning seconds, Jesse, you put yourself in position to pull this one out. There's a chance this may be the kicker guy. 10 seconds the left. Chance to make his kick. And how much it's a five and one on the season. You know, what's his range? All those things come into account of how aggressive you want to be, maybe going towards one more play when you're out of Hill Mary range. You're needing a touchdown to win this game. This is going to be a a last second last chance play that they practice by the way throughout the week it's going to involve probably a to get them set quickly they have to get the ball into field goal range dropping back it's morris he's going up top here late in the game and he made oh the my gosh inside the 20. thank god and he's brought down after a huge completion. we survived guys 21 to, to 18. Huge Guys shout out to North Texas. That was a valiant effort. Great yeah, game. But we prevailed. Games, George Johnson, the third player of the game, 13 for 88 in two scores. Number seven did his thing. Glad we got that win, y'all. That would have been a tough one to swallow if we would have dropped that one. Check out the stats, and we'll get up on out of here. Appreciate you guys. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so. Wild game, guys. 21-18 is the final. First downs are pretty much identical. Total offense, same thing. 289 to 267. Rushing, we had 110. We did have one turnover. Cameron Fancher, 10 to 24. Not the best game. 157 yards, one touchdown. We saw Gerald Johnson was the player of the game. Receiving was pretty balanced. Mylon Tucker. Had that one touchdown, finished with 41 yards. Chris Wines McCoy had a sack, and uh, Wilkie Denada, the freshman, had two tackles for loss. Marlon Bradley had two, a couple others had one. So, North Texas, Chandler Morris, 17 for 30, 217 yards, one touchdown. I mean, they did the no huddle pretty dang good. Got a lot of third down conversions that way. Ragsdale had 55 and a score. Their leading receiver had 66 yards. This guy had a sack and three tackles for loss. Ethan Wislowski. So that's going to do it for this game, guys. So we got some commitments. The four-star Earl Chubb from Miami is an FAU Owl. Currently, that's a huge pickup. John Cortez, three-star wide receiver out of Miami, is committed. Miguel Riza, another three-star from Miami, is committed. Three-star Connor Selby, Fort Myers, Florida. So, man, that's huge. Four guys from Florida. We'd love to see that. Next time the video, man, we're gonna go on the road, another American conference game. This time we're gonna be playing UTSA and we'll go through recruiting, what happened in the top 25, etc. Appreciate you guys as always. If you're new to the channel, do your boy a favor, hit that subscribe button on the way out. Thank you guys as always. Hope you all have a blessed night. We're five and one. I'm getting hyped about the squad. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.